Well, hello. <laughs> Harold Death Metal is here helping me out in the garden. And what I'm doing today is cleaning up and mulching these tomatillos, which they are starting to get loaded. And right now, most of those balloons are empty sacks. <laughs> For the most part, but soon, hopefully, some fruit will firm up inside. And so I've also cleaned up and collected, this is the second small bundle <laughs> of things that I cleared out from behind those. And that's going to go to the U's. Hey, U's, do you want this? <laughs> it's a feeding frenzy. Look at how cute those little ramblings are with their horns. They're so precious. And Mrs. Robinson's lambs, they're huge. Very precious. Hi, Bear Taylor. All right, back up here um, in the yard garden. This is the former onion patch. And speaking of which, I harvested the rest. And so I showed you harvesting 20 pounds of reds and we got 27 more pounds. So 47 pounds of onions out of this little patch. And so I've already uh, redone two furrows. This one has some sweet potato slips. That's going to be just for the greens. I don't expect to grow tubers in this short season. And then at the end, I planted a bunch of quick sumter uh, cucumbers. Those are supposed to be like 50 days, 55 days. And I have around 60 days. <laughs> and in the next row, same deal, 55 day squashes. Uh, some zucchini and some yellow straight neck and then interspersed with those are sunflowers from native seeds so it's a mixed bag of uh, conservation sunflower mix it was called so yeah that's two furrows down and one two and three to go <laughs> the second one of course has a divider of a bush there <laughs> and for some reason, Harold's the only kitten helping me out this afternoon. So my procedure thus far has been to sickle down, chop and drop the tall grasses. And then I use the mattock and I just uh, kind of till the furrow, plant the seeds and then mulch it up with animal litter from either the sheep or the rabbits. So this is the array of seeds I'm going to try to plant here and then pull beans along the very front row. Does that meet with your satisfaction? Oh, Harold. <laughs> All right, that's the first pass with the mattock. And it's kind of chunky and I've noticed in just one growing uh, season for for those onions the quality of the soil has already improved all right so I usually do a second pass with the mattock and then I kneel down and uh, shape it with my fingers and I'll be planting, uh, I think I'm going to plant beets in this row. All right, for now, cheers and blessings. 